students this is the second class of anti malarials already in the first class we have seen what is malaria and the life cycle of malarial parasite now in this class we'll see the classification of anti malarials it's a site of action and the chemistry of quinin we'll see one by one now we'll see the classification of anti malarials it is classified chemically it is classified into 10 types first one is cinchona alkaloids Examples are quinine, quinidine, cinchonin, cinchonidine, and rubin. Second type is four amino quinolones. Here, the amino group is attached in the fourth position of quinolone ring, quinolin. Examples are chloroquine, amodiaquine, hydroxychloroquine, mefloquine, santoquine. Next one is eight amino quinolones. In eight amino quinolones, the amino group is attached in the eighth position of quinolin ring. Examples are primaquine, pamaquine, pentaquine, isopentaquine. Next one is nine amino acridin. So in the acridin nucleus, amino group is attached in the ninth position. Example is mepacrin. Next one is biguanides. Examples are proguanil and cycloguanil. Already we have seen guanidin. So guanidin means that is having same having similar structure with urea. Here the oxygen is replaced by means of NH. So it is having two guanidin groups. That's why it is called biguanide. Next one is pyrimidin analogs. Example is pyrimethamine. Next one is polycyclics. Examples are doxycycline, halofantrin, pyronaridin, lumifantrin. Uh, nine eighth type is miscellaneous. Examples are metalamine, sulfodoxin. And ninth one is newer anti-malarials. Examples are artemisinin, fosmidomycin. And the last one is combinations. Here sulfodoxin is combined with pyrimethamine. Atovaquin is combined with proguanil. And artemether is combined with lumifantrin. Next is site of anti-malarial agents. Actually, there are four possible sites for drug therapy at this stage of the disease. First one is kill the sporozoites injected by the mosquito, or prevent the sporozoites from entering the liver. The drugs used in this stage are known as prophylactic agents. Actually, no drug is effective in this stage. Second one is Kill the schizons present in the hepatocytes or prevent them from forming merozoites. Examples are quinine, chloroquine, amodiaquine, and pyrimethamine. Third one is kill the merozoites in the blood or prevent them from developing into gametocytes. Example: chloroquine, amodiaquine. And the last one is kill the gametocytes before they enter the mosquito and reproduce the zygotes. Example: primaquine. Now we we'll see the first drug under anti-malarial. So that is the quinine. So from the name itself, we can say it is the quinolin derivative. So what is meant by quinolin? Fusion of two rings. One is a benzene ring, another one is a pyridine. So fusion of benzene with pyridine, no. So that can be called as quinolin. So first it is having quinolin ring, and it is also having one more ring that is called the quinacridine. So what is meant by quinacridine? It is other. It is a bicycloamine. Otherwise, it can be called one as a bicyclo octane. So why it is called octane? Because of the presence of the eight atoms. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. So eight. No, that's why it is octane. First position is having nitrogen, and it is having two rings. That's why bicyclo. So what is the chemical name for quinacridin? That is one as a bicyclo octane. So it is having two rings. One is a quinolin ring, another one is a quinacridin ring, and these two are connected by means of hydroxy methyl group. Now come to quinolin. So in the case of quinolin, it is having methoxy group at in the sixth position, and in the case of quinacridin, it is having vinyl in the fifth position. So what is val? What is vinyl? C H double bond C H two no. So that can be called as vinyl. Otherwise called ethyl. Where it is attached in the fifth position. So this is one. One, two, three, four, five. So this is five. So fifth position is connected with the vinyl. So that is the structure of quinine. So what are the rings present in the in quinine? One is a quinolin ring, another one is a quinacridin ring, and these two are connected, connected by means of hydroxy methyl group. And quino, uh, quinolin is having methoxy group, and uh, this quinacridin is having vinyl group. Now we will see the chemical name of quinine. So for this we have to choose a parent here. Uh, this C H three O H no, so that can be considered as a parent. That is methanol. Methanol otherwise called as carbonyl. So with the methanol only, this quinacridin is attached, and this quinolin would be attached. So that's why its chemical name is here in fifth position only. That vinyl is attached. That's why five vinyl quinacridin two vinyl or two quinacridyl. 
and here 6 methoxy quinoline 4 yl or 4 quinolyl methanol so that is the chemical name it is having uh, methanol in fourth position of quinoline that's why it, it can be called as a 4 quinoline methanol derivative and these are um, aryl only no having nitrogen that and also having alcohol that's why it is called aryl amino alcohol derivative and it is a basic common and it is available as a salt so it is available as a hydrochloride form or dihydrochloride form or sulfate or bisulfate or gluconate now we'll see the source of quinine Quinine is an alkaloid and it is obtained from the bark of a cinchona. So, from the cinchona, we are getting four alkaloids. They are quinine, quinidin, synchonin, and synchonidin. These two know quinine and quinidin are isomers, and synchonin and synchonidin are isomers. But these two know last two, that is, synchonin and synchonidin are desmethyl derivatives of quinidin and quinine, respectively. So, in the case of quinine, the numbering would be based on the parent one that is called as rubane. So, what is a rubane that is having a quinoline nucleus and that is having quinoclidin nucleus and these two are connected by means of methylene bridge. So, that is the structure for rubane. So, rubane is having two moieties, one is a quinoline one, another one is a quinoclidin one and these two are connected by means of methylene. So, that is called as rubane. Now, here, so this is a structure of uh, quinine. So, in the case of uh, quinoline, 6 portion we have methoxy. So, if it is methoxy means that is called as quinine. In the case of uh, 6 portion, it is having only hydrogen. So, the methoxy is replaced by means of hydrogen means that is called as synconidine. Okay? So, that is why synconidine is, is the desmethyl derivative of quinine because here the methoxy you know that is removed. That is why it is called desmethyl or no, desmethoxy or desmethyl derivative of quinine that can be called as synconidine. And here we have uh, isomers already we have seen 4 isomers no, oh, sorry um, 4 alkaloids from uh, synchona no, so they are quinine, quinidin, synchonin and synchonidin. Whereas uh, the first two quinine and quinidin these two are isomers and the synchonin and synchonidin are isomers. Now see the difference between quinine and quinidin. Okay. Here they differ only in the stereochemistry at positions 8 and 9. Okay. So, this is the 8th position. So, according to Rubin, the numbering starts from here. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8th position of um, the quinic leaden, no, that is attached with the hydroxy methyl. So, that, that is getting the number 9. So, this is 8, this is 9. So, this would be the structure for quinine. So, what is the difference? In the case of 9th position, it is having a carbonyl no. So, that is having hydroxy group that is connected with the carbon by means of beta configuration. And that is uh, here we have hydrogen that is connected to the carbon by means of alpha configuration. And that is uh, having a stereochemistry R for 9th carbon. And for 8th carbon, it is having a stereochemistry. So, this is for quinine. Now, see this for quinidin. For quinidin, 8th carbon is getting R configuration and the 9th carbon no, that is getting S configuration. And here, for quinin, hydroxy group is attached to the carbon by means of beta configuration. Here, the hydroxy group is attached to the carbon by means of alpha configuration. Hydrogen is attached to the carbon by means of alpha configuration and here hydrogen is attached to the carbon by means of beta configuration. So, they differ only in configuration of the carbonyl or the methanol and its stereochemistry would be for uh, quinine and synchonidine it would be S R for 8th and 9th portion it would be S and R and in the case of quinidin and synchonine it would be R S for 8th and 9th portion it would be R and S. Okay. So, look at this. So, stereochemistry differ at positions only at 8 and 9. For uh, quinine and synchonidine that would be S and R. For 8th position it is S and for 9th position it is R. If it is quinidine or synchonine it would be R and S. For 8th it is R and 9th it is S. 
So what is the difference between quinine and quinidine? They differ only in configuration of carbon atom of carbinol or methanol. So here only it would be different. So here in the case of a quinine hydroxy group is attached to beta configuration hydrogen is attached to the carbon by means of alpha configuration and in the case of a quinidine hydroxy group is having alpha and hydrogen is having beta configuration. And here these two, first two we have seen no, first two that is quinine and synconidine no, these two are levo rotatory these two are levo isomers whereas this quinidine and synconine no, these two are dextro isomers very very important one. So what are they quinine and synconidine or levo isomers that is levo rotatory quinidine and synconine or dextro rotatory. Now we will see the desmethyl analogs of quinine and quinidine. Synconidine is a desmethyl analog of quinine and synconine is the desmethyl analog of quinidine. Quinidine. Already we have seen quinine and quinidine are stereoisomers. So which stereoisomer it is? It is a C9 stereoisomer of quinine and also a diastereoisomer. It is an effective anti-malarial and used as a schizonticide. But it is more toxic than quinine. Its major use is used as an anti-arrhythmic agent. Quinine is used in combination with the pyrimethamine and sulfodoxin or with the doxycycline or with mefloquine. Now we will see the uses of a quinine. It is used in the treatment of chloroquine resistant strains of plasmodium falciparum in the treatment of babsiosis. It is an infection caused by a parasite called Babsia. It is used for nocturnal leg cramps in the treatment of lupus and arthritis. Lupus is otherwise called systemic lupus erythematosus and it is an autoimmune disease.